this is Gabrielle and welcome to another edition of 100 Days of Consciousness brought to you by AgelessKnowledge.com and AgelessKnowledge.tv um, Today we're going to do a quick brief exercise on how to communicate with animals um, especially dogs We'll discuss horses briefly. The Anastasia Christine of ChocolateReader.com. She is the horse expert. We could call her horse whisperer. She's really great if you have any horse issues. I love horses, but that's not my specialty. I'm more into dogs. I own three beasts of my own. So here's how you communicate with your dogs, or this will work with cats as well. Um, I've used it on different animals, but this is basically how you do it. Um, I've even used it on mice. Um, what I would say is get beside your pet, sit down beside your pet, and I may film this later, this fall with one of my dogs. Um, sit down beside your pet, and you want to sit beside them, not in front of them. You want to sit beside them because animals often perceive you as a predator, especially if your eyes kind of come out of your head coming forward. So sit beside them. And what you're going to want to do is think in pictures because dogs, cats, animals, they don't speak. You want to think in pictures. So you can close your eyes and do it. You can do them with it open. It's best to do it with your eyes closed though. And what you're going to do is think in simple pictures. And what you got to remember about animals, they only know what they're exposed to. It, dogs that are chained up and kept in the backyard and don't see very many people, um, they often act really ignorant. And it's because they're not exposed to anything else and they don't know anything else. So when you're thinking about your pets, think about what they're exposed to. Um, like if I wanted to, uh, an example of this is when I go on trips and I'm getting ready to travel, I will sit down next to my dog Pandy and I will um, close my eyes and I will picture myself with my luggage leaving and then I'll picture myself coming back because sometimes she has anxiety when I leave and the house sitters and my husband who depends on if I'm traveling by myself or not have to call me and I have to talk her down. So <laughs> That's what you do. You picture, you think in pictures, but you got to remember that a dog, a cat, a horse, um, mice, whatever you're trying to communicate with a parrot, their, their thoughts are very limited to what they've been exposed to. Now, Pandy is super smart. She does 19 tricks, and we counted one time how many words that she knows, and I think it was 39 that she reacted to. Um, Pandy, you want to come over here? Pandy, come here. Come here. Pandy, quit giving me the evil eye. Come here. Here, Kiki. Come here. Come on. One more time. Come on. I tried to get her to film earlier and she wouldn't come. Pandy. <laughs> she hates to be on film. Come here. Get up here. Come here. Come on. Come on. She's not minding. She knows. She knows. This is a good example. She knows. She hates to be on film. Come here, baby girl. You're just, you're not going to do it. She's getting really old. Um, my dog Bear, he died a month before his 19th birthday. Pandy's getting up there. Pandy is getting old. You want to come up here now? She's a border collie. She's, she's not going to do what she hates to be filmed. But um, she communicates really well. And uh, we have a mastiff. <laughs> Sometimes I think the lights are on and nobody's home there. But he's, he's doing a lot better. And we also have a pit bull. And he's, he's really good. But Pandy's the best. She's the best to communicate. She communicates a lot with her eyes. She tries to talk <clears throat> and make words. But if you want to communicate with your cat, your dog, you want to come and sit beside them again. You want to think in pictures. And then you want to pause for a moment. And you want to receive the picture that they send you it'll probably be something pretty simple it could be a bone it could be a treat it could be another dog they want to see more of um, different things that's how my dogs are they usually communicate with me their their wants their desires going out more um, toys they want more toys or the same toy that's missing 
Um, it's really simple things because it's you got to think it's it's things that they're used to. You know, I had a fellow call me um, a few years back about a horse, and I went down with the horse, and he just could not believe because the horse had been was being really aggressive. How well the horse behaved with me, and what the horse kept showing me was its foot. And sure enough, when they took the the shoe off, there was some stuff you know under the shoe irritating the horse. And that's why the horse was behaving that way. They brought another person down there to try to work with a horse, but the lady had approached it. I said, well, how does she approach it? Does she approach it face first or does she approach it from the side? And she's like, no, she put her head on his head and tried like this and tried to communicate. I don't know where she got that from, um, but it's not the way to communicate with a horse that I'm aware of. The way to communicate is from the side. Um, all animals is from the side because that they don't see you as a predator that way. They see you more as an equal. So that's my advice. If you want to communicate with your animals, whether it's mice, um, cats, dogs, horses, whatever your pet might be, um, fish. I used to have a koi pond, and we've got them so trained and. We had one that lived nine years. I think maybe it was eight. It was eight or nine years. Um, as soon as they would feel the vibration of me walking up, they would start coming up and nibble our fingers and stuff. And one day I did an exercise with them. I kept thinking and thinking and thinking and seeing them jump up in the air because they never jumped up in the air. That's just not a koi trait. And sure enough, my biggest, oldest koi jumped way up in the air and did flips. And that's the only time I've ever seen them do it. So. I do believe it can work on fish as well. All right, you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.